Texas State football has hired a new head coach, G.J. Kinney. He was an incarnate word football coach this past year, 10 and 1. But in the past, he was, in 2021, a co offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. In 2020, a co offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. He was an offensive special projects for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was an offensive analyst at Arkansas in 2018. SMU grad assistant in 2017. He did play like college at Tulsa. So he attended Texas as a redshirt freshman actually in 2007, but he decided to transfer out. So he went to Tulsa in 2008. After sitting out 2008, he became the starting quarterback for the Golden Hurricanes. In 2009 and remained a starter throughout his career. He finished with 9,472 yards and 81 touchdowns and who was named the most valuable player in the 2012 uh, NFLPA Collegiate Bowl. He was undrafted but he signed with the New York Jets but he was waived on April 28th of that year but he was waived on July 28th. He joined the United Football League for the 2012 season that which later unfolded with Omaha Nighthawks. He also played in the Arena Football League with the San Antonio Talons. In February 28, 2013, he was signed by the Philadelphia Eagles, but he was later on released on August 30th. On October 22nd, he was resigned to the practice eagle uh, practice squad because of injuries signed a future contract with the eagles in 2014 but it was released on august 30th so in 2015 he was waived signed by the junior giants but placed there but he was released on august, september 16th for one week he was resigned to that practice squad but then he on january 4th 2000 they signed as a reserve future contract with the Giants, but he was waived eventually of May May fifth, twenty sixteen. He did play sign with the Calgary Stampeders of the CFL in June thirteenth, twenty sixteen, but less than a week later, June nineteenth, released from the team. He signed with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in the CFL on, on June 24, 2016. He made his final game, debuting the final game of the 2016 season, completing four passes out of 11 for 24 yards, but then he decided to renounce retirement from, from the football on May 19, 9, 2017. So, so yeah. He's had a, a past history as not only as a player but as a coach as well so he's very new to the business we'll we'll see how he does at Texas State yeah you gotta give him time though I will give him four or six years because Texas I know Texas State went back to back four and eight years so you know they were getting there with the old coach it's just they didn't they didn't give him one more year like I think they should have but this seems like a good hire but I wouldn't say great a decent hire but not like great maybe even good we'll see how they do in the next four to six three to six years and Texas State you gotta be more patient I mean you can't just run off a coach again in three years because you're they're buyout I mean like you don't want to pay two coaches at once necessarily so I just want to break that down like I do in dance for like and subscribe if you know where it is. Let's get to me to four hundred subscribers or more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.